Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Melrose Wig here, back with another tutorial. Today's video, we're gonna construct a wig. Doesn't take a lot, but before we get started, you guys know I gotta recite this poem. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Also, drop a comment down below. Let me know how you guys like this video, if it was helpful, what I could do different, etc., etc. Be nice. And I'll be nice right back. Anyway, guys, to construct this unit, you guys need a dome cap. I put on a shower cap because I need to protect my mannequin head. I don't want to get in dirty. And I use a cheap pack of hair guy from my beauty supply store, $24.99. Can't go wrong. This was just a tutorial, so I don't need to spend a lot of coins to show you guys how easy it is to make a unit. It's not hard, trust me. Okay, so you guys want to get started. You need a dome. You need a dome head. Um, you need your hair. You need T pins. I got my T pins from Amazon, probably like two ninety nine, three dollars. I'm assuming if I remember correctly, or I think I probably got them from my beauty, my beauty supply store. I can't recall. Either way, they are not expensive. Um, you definitely need T pins or push pins, whatever you have, in order to keep your frontal, your closure, whatever you're going to use, secured so that you can start the gluation. Yes, this thing was so messy, guys, but I got it done, and we pulled it together, and it was great success. So, we get started. I started initially um, applying the glue onto the mesh part of my closure. That was not a bright idea. So then I decided to, okay, let me put it on the dome cap itself. And then that was, you know, probably the best move. So then it started to work. It started to stick. I would advise you guys not to push against it. You see how I'm pushing to like make sure that it's secure. Don't do that because what will happen is that the glue will start seeping out. You see all that white stuff at the top? Yeah, you don't want that. The glue will start seeping out and creating a mess. So just allow it to bond to the dome cap naturally. Don't apply pressure, you don't need to. I learned the hard way, that's why I'm here to teach you. Okay, so we both gonna learn. I'm not gonna do it next time and you're not gonna do it at all. So, <laughs> as we continue, I got the frontal um, closed down, stuck together. What I did was after I used, after I applied the glue, I kinda just left it alone and let it do its own thing so that I know it was stuck fully before I started. Um, to add the rest of the bundles in the back of the, the of the of the dome head, so this is what I was doing, just making sure everything was secure, um, and I didn't want to have to come back and have to add more glue to the front part of the hair. So once we get to the back, you basically just start applying the glue as you would if you were sewing the bundles in. So anyhow you sew your bundles, anyhow you lay your tracks, that's how you're gonna glue the hair in. Period. Simple. It's not rocket science. Um, what I did do was I um, folded over my um, wefts. I didn't cut them. The only time I did cut the wefts was at the very top when we got to the, um, the closure part where I didn't need, you know, large amounts of hair. So I had to cut little pieces off. Other than that, same strategy of when you're sewing your bundles is the same process of when you're gluing the bundles on to your dome cap period so I don't really I don't know if I have much to say after this point you guys just you know as you get to the top of the head what you want to do is make sure that you're making like a, a a horseshoe shape when you're gluing your hair down you do not want to glue straight across straight across you have to go almost into a horseshoe shape when you get to the top and basically that's it it was a little messy as I said I learned not to put pressure as you can see I'm now laying the weft just you know laying it down as I carry it across not adding pressure of any sort to allow it to start making a mess anyway guys I love you guys thank you for watching my videos to my new subscribers hello this is Meryl's way if you guys have any ideas about what you want to see on my YouTube channel just drop a comment down below and until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. I'll just let you continue watching. And I'll show you how I tried it on so you guys, you guys can see that it actually did fit because you want to make sure that you measure, 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 measure. Anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.